upcoming seven days prediction tarot reading so if you want to know how your seven day might look like this reading might be for you but again it is a collective reading not for everyone so if it resonates this is your reading if it doesn't resonate this is not your reading don't claim if it doesn't resonate with your situation okay <clears throat> And um, if you're seeing me on TikTok, remember I have only one account with 99k plus followers, Divine Mother's Guidance. I never message you, follow you saying that my ancestors told me to message you, give a guidance, that shit I have no time for. All right. In Instagram, I have only one account, Divine Mother's Guidance with 3000 plus followers. Neither in Instagram nor in TikTok, I will never follow you and offer you a reading. You can book a reading with me, messaging me in my Instagram and also uh, in, in emailing me in my um, email id divine mothers guidance at gmail.com all right i never offer dm reading or i never offer whatsapp reading only video call readings all right so saying that don't be scammed seven cards <clears throat> one two three four five six seven day one justice be impartial and objective stand up for what you believe try to see the sides of the all sides of the situation you will win at the uh, if the position is one of integrity so it feels like if you've been doing right things this is the day when the justice will be served so you will see that things are working in your favor but given the fact that you did the right thing okay if you did the right thing for to unfold the situation um wherever you have did put the energy if it was right one you know you did correct so this is going to be justice will be served. So if you are going through a court case or something like that, the justice might be, if this is the day, um, you might uh, see that it is coming in your favor. All right. It's a Libra card. And also uh, I would say it's a very logical and analytical card. So it might be you have, you might achieve something uh, using your, like, you know, something might be a stock project or something. You might be able to uh, solve this problem uh, with your logic and analysis. Okay. So this is looks a very positive day. This is a positive card. All right, day two. This is a page of shorts. All right, um, sorry, ace of shorts. The a, because this is a new deck. I just keep up. So, the, uh, the ace of shorts. Some communication might be coming towards you. It might bring clarity. Two air sign energies, uh, one after another. You might see some uh, communication coming towards you, which is like a new beginning. Talking about um, some uh, uh, you know brilliant ideas. And uh, overcoming obstacles, obstac obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and consistently. Remain objective. So yeah, somebody might clear, clear some clear communication might come on your way. It can be that you might get some news from somebody which might give you some clarification. It also can be some communication that you are waiting for a long time that might come. Or it might be, again, as I said, some projects that you were looking for some clarity that might start in the first day and the second day will bring more clarity to the project which you are like hold for a long time. So it might bring more clarity to your situation so it looks like it is going in a very positive direction for first two days the third card the third card comes five of shorts so here it's a bit twist so unwise choice be careful that you don't make unwise choices don't go for any kind of a gambling or something like a taking a risk this is not a right day for taking a risk okay don't take any risk just take a decision which is you are sure about there might be some people who trying to uh, you know pull you down they might be trying to make fun uh, you know fun of your ideas or they might be trying to make you feel a little bit bad or kind of a bully energy or it can be like you are trying to make a hasty decision about something like a gap like a take, take a step i'm not sure about let me take the step but if this is the day, day it's not a right day to take a step if you are not sure about it so take a wise decision all right be careful on the fifth day Ooh, lot of air sign energy so far all the air sign energies here cards <clears throat> 10 of shorts another short all right 10 of shorts it talks about like a somebody who is going through a lot of pain and stress one after another it can be something that you might be if the, this is something that happened in your past few weeks or few months i would say this is the end of it in tarot 10 is the number 10 is a cycle of completion so when the 10 arrives it means that you have faced the worst now it is time to get out of the house and look at the bright side of the day all right see look at this this person collecting these shorts and now they're looking outside it is so beautiful outside so it looks like whatever you have been stuck you have been going through a lot of 
of pain and anxiety or tension which was not very um, you know good feeling for you now it's going to be end all the anxiety that you have facing so like so far it looks like you have gone through a lot of hard time here it can be in terms of your career life money or uh, finances or your relationship now this is the this is about to end and this is the this is the actually ending this is the you have faced the worst so nothing can go any worse from there so now now that it's time for to open the door and see the new possibilities because that worst has been faced now you are strong enough brave enough and all these shows are knowledge and everything that happens like you know wrong thing happens anything bad goes in our life we learn a lesson from this so now you have learned your lessons now you are strong enough now all these shows are now your weapon it means like all the bad phases you have gone through you have learned things and now you know how to deal with them so these are now your weapon all the pain and heart is a lesson for you and now you are ready to face the brighter beautiful world so this is a positive feeling i'm getting with this specific card so it's not a bad feeling at all with the 10 okay <clears throat> wow knight of wand so some passionate news are coming on your way so once you are open yourself up for the new possibilities it's a great news coming on your way some passionate individual might come towards you may give you a job offer maybe somebody from your uh, relationship coming from past some great news coming from your on your way or you might get a you know new friend who might give you some kind of cushion in your life in terms of your career or support in your time some your career also a love offer like from a new person also can be but this person whoever it is has a lot of passion and lot of um, you know good feelings for you okay so whoever is coming on your way some great news uh, also it is saying uh, what is some events requiring immediate action trust your instinct safe focus a passionate relationship yeah so this is very good and positive so now we are going to the day 6 okay release ending that needs to new beginning and needs to release situation that people hold you back spiritual transformation this is actually the death card all right so the death card also talks about release so death is means like what happens after death is a new beginning all right something that needs to end uh, that uh, that needs to end uh, it have to end you cannot stop it all right sorry got a call yeah so the release so what i was saying death is unavoidable something that needs to come something that needs to come but when the death comes there is a new beginning of life okay death means a rebirth so uh, it's like whatever has been not been holding like what was not serving your purpose whatever is not supposed to be in your life anymore that is needs to end a new beginning coming on your way and that will be full of blessings okay so let go whatever is not serving you anymore release that don't try to hold on if you try to hold on it is on and not going to stay anyways because the death is unavoidable so whatever is is supposed to end on this day it's going to come back in a different transformed version towards you so this is a day when it says endings that leads to new beginnings they needs to release situation or people that hold you back spiritual transformation so you are going through a spiritual transformation also and um, you can't you stop you can't resist something that is unavoidable all right so don't try to do this okay just go with the flow on that day go easy on yourself don't push yourself to things the moon um this is a listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine unnecessary worry so it's like moon card talks about your subconscious beliefs and worries so because the release card is about ending something and then the moon comes maybe something is ending which might make you a little bit conscious a little bit anxious a little bit worrying because this ending something it looks like you something you don't want it to let go but it is have it ha, it needs to go from your life but it is something that you really don't want but actually that's the reason the moon card is coming up but when this situation comes you just need to breathe and believe in divine surrender to the divine because there are certain things not in our control even if we want we can't take control over the situation so only option will be to let it go so surrender to the divine trust your intuition and you know you can do the best thing at the moment there are certain things not in our control don't try to change the thing that is not in your control only take control over the things that you can take control over uh, what you can control you can control your inner peace all right by doing what you can do meditation you can do focus on things you know some uh, healing meditation om mantra for 32 hearts in youtube you can find that is a very good mantra for cleansing this uh, negative thoughts and stuff like that so at the moment when you are feeling helpless try to give you the best thing to be give yourself the comfort maybe make yourself like some cozy food or something you know give yourself the comfort by watching some movie or something which makes you feel good about that uh, good in that situation don't be hard on yourself you know um, be kind and compassionate okay don't feel bad for feeling bad okay things are sometimes happens which we can't control but you know i understand i'm leaving you with that because it's a seven day prediction i'm doing i will leave with that but again i'm telling you remember that 
good and bad thing is a part of our life nobody can avoid that we all go through that when the bad things come stay strong and positive and surrender to the divine that's all we can do all right take care love you Bye.